What's going on YouTube? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Thanks a lot for coming by once again to see some more Captain Tsubasa Dream Team with the homie Nako bringing you this time around an updated beginner's guide for the year 2023. A lot, well, some things have remained the same, but a lot, a lot of things have changed. From the last time I recorded a beginner's guide for you guys, I was a little bit incomplete because I didn't get to training and to boundary break and all that other stuff, I know. My focus a lot on the last one was on preparing for the pulls that were coming for the players for the World Cup, which already passed, of course, since we're now in February of 2023. So uh, I want to go over some of the changes, I guess, and some of the stuff. This would be more geared towards new players, of course, to help you out as to how to start, what to do, where to go and all that stuff, because there's been so much to do since I've been farming accounts and stuff like that. So it, it made me think about, OK, Give you guys kind of like a guide and a hint some hints as to give you a uh, an area of focus and what to do as you prepare your team to be able to fully boundary break them to their full potential now what do i mean by boundary break we will get into that okay but basically what that means is that in this game it is a gacha game okay what means is that you're going to be pulling for cards and from there when you get those cards you need to have essentially five copies of that card to get it to boundary break four there's other ways around it there's other items but you know again i'm gonna have to get into all of that little by little okay so let's see uh okay well i'm gonna start off the game as if i were like a true beginner to kind of give you some guidance then and then we'll go from there okay we'll take it from there don't forget to like and subscribe come back for some more content let's do this so here we go. Welcome to the world of Captain Tsubasa Dream Team. Oh, yeah. And I guess as a disclaimer, just know that when you're getting into this game, it is a marathon. It is not a race. So I've been playing this game for five years. I, I, it's a lot easier and faster to get through a lot of this stuff than it was around the time that I started the game. But it's still a lot of stuff to do. The stuff that was necessary to do for me was a lot minimal because, well, I've been playing a lot the game for a lot longer. But you as a new player, there's so much to do. So let's get to it then, okay? So the game is going to start you off with the tutorial right here, and it's going to teach you the very basics of it, okay? This is Sanae Nakazawa. Well, you don't see her because my face is in the way. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Now, this is Sanae Nakazawa. She'll be your guide for the tutorial. Okay, so they're gonna explain to you how the matches are played and stuff like that, how to move the players around the pitch. This is exactly how the game is gonna look like when you're playing the game, okay? I'm not gonna skip the tutorial so that we could go over it. So yeah, so this is what it's gonna look like. As you can see here, there's a lot of these characters right here that are in blue, cir blue circles, and the other ones are in red. So naturally, all the blue ones are gonna be your squad, and those are all your teammates, and then the red are all the opponents. Okay, so when you have the ball here, well, wherever, whoever has the ball, it's telling you right here in the tutorial just to press it so that you can send the pass, okay? That's going to apply to anyone, anyone. Now, what the game doesn't explain to you here, or let's see. You don't have to pass directly to another player either. Try sending a pass to an open space on the pitch. And you have to remember that too, okay? You don't have to pass it to them directly all the time. You can always pass it like up here, down here, maybe down here, and it'll go over that player. Naturally, when you're playing the game, these players like this one right here the, this one didn't move at all that is not gonna happen these players are definitely gonna be moving so you have to keep that in mind when you're sending your passes okay you can pass it to anyone on the pitch keep that in mind but again you see they're gonna explain how to dribble the ball what the game does not explain to you when this card right here had um this guy is misaki when misaki had the ball right here and pass it to this one right here that's Hyuga. Of course, there were no players in the way, nothing like that, so it was a clean pass. But if this one had chosen to pass it all the way over here, your pass loses momentum the farther you try to pass it. So unless you have a, an extremely clear lane right here, which in some cases the game will open up and you will have that type of pass, then by all means do it. But keep in mind, if you try to make such a pass from here to all the way down here, this character is most likely going to get in the way here and this one's going to get in the way here 
This one is probably less likely to intercept it, but he might, depending on the intercept uh, stat of the player card when you're pl actually playing the game. However, this one is going to have a greater chance of intercepting it because it's just a basic, basic white pass, not a skill pass. We'll get to what that means, okay? So, now to dribble the ball. Whoever has the ball, you just have to put your finger on the character and swipe it in any direction that you want him to dribble. So, right here, the game is asking me to dribble in this direction. If I wanted to, I could dribble down here lower. They're going to come at me right here. If I didn't want to, that's if I wanted to avoid this guy and then give this guy a chance to come up forward right here. And this guy a chance as well to move up forward depending on the type of card this is if this card is one of those that is meant to score then i might want to go up to the matchup here but if but this is more of a playmaker and i don't have any attackers up here then i would probably want to move down here instead once again to allow my goal scorers to move up ahead but going to the tutorial let's go ahead and proceed and do this of course, as you see, nobody's moving, but that's not going to happen in the game, obviously. Everybody's going to be coming after you, okay? And when they come after you and they engage you like this, then you're going to go into a matchup. Okay, now when you go into the matchup, depending on the character, sometimes they're going to have a little dialogue right here real quick. So now, let's see how they explain it. First of all, let's talk about player types. <clears throat> Each player has their own player type. This is the player type of the players you're controlling. So this one right here <clears throat> and right here. Each player type is strong against one player type and weak against another. So you see the game claims that it's like rock, paper, scissors. But keep in mind that the game runs a lot on RNG. So while you could use this to your advantage to get past most of it on most occasions because of probabilities. You should be winning matchups. You should be winning this and that and whatever. But sometimes it's not going to happen. I guess you could justify it by thinking about it as real world football, real world soccer, whatever you choose to call it. In the sense that sometimes, you know, even the best players like Messi, he could have the best stats and he's the best player in the world. But even he struggled at times at different games or he doesn't always score. You get me? Um, you could even take his, uh, let's say his world cup performances that most of the time they would end up falling short or whatever. Of course, this time, congratulations once again to Argentina. They're the champs and this time Messi did score, you know, and it was like a goal that they, eh, whatever, whatever. But the game against Germany, when they lost one zero, despite the fact that they had the world's best player, they were not able to score a goal. And you know, sometimes stuff happens. Sometimes the ball goes through the goalkeeper's hands in an easy save. Sometimes, you know, a strike, whatever, stuff happens. That's the point. So I think that's why they justify the massive amount of RNG that happens in the game sometimes. So keep that in mind, okay? So the reason why they showed you that as well is because... This character that I have, Subasa, is green, and the one that I'm facing, Kalt, is blue, and green has an advantage over blue. Okay, available commands are down here. Commands are available different according to the situation. Keep that in mind. Players have different stats for each of the commands. So basically, what it was telling you is that these commands change based on the situation, meaning uh, this is offensive. When you're on defense, these commands will be different. And then when you're like in a high ball or low ball situation within the penalty area, some of these commands will be different as well. Players have different stats for each of the commands. The higher this number is, the more likely the you see right here. It tells you though, the higher this number is, the more likely the command is to be successful. So I guess you could say the game for the very beginning in the tutorial tells you, hey, it's not guaranteed. Yeah, we said it's rock, paper, scissors, but it's not guaranteed. It just means the more likely the command is to be successful. Using commands also uses up stamina. The amount of stamina required is shown here underneath the command. In this case, the basic, basic commands are 60 and most often you will not be using basic commands. You can see your player's stamina here. Be careful when you run out of stamina, you won't be able to use special skills and your regular commands will also become less effective. So, well, 
there will be times where you're going to use regular commands, but it's only going to be to not use up stamina on a special skill when you know absolutely that you're not going to be able to win a matchup. Okay? So, like player type different commands are strong against other ones like this. See? You see? Here you go. Tackle strong against dribble, intercept against pass, block against shot. But, of course, RNG the master of all the commands that they're effective against are shown here above each one so shot against block pass and one two because a one two is also considered a pass goes into intercept and dribble over tackle well not over the other way around okay defensive <laughs> defensive gets the advantage over the offensive ones okay so Subasa's high stat is dribble so try selecting dribble as you see right here, my highest stat was right here, and his uh, tackle was only like 499. So even if he goes for tackle, most likely by brute strength, I'm going to pass over him. However, the intercept is a little bit higher, but right here, the character is just too weak to make a difference. Really. <coughs> Alright, great. He dodged past his opponent's block. whoop de doo Look what your opponent behind. There's an open path to the goal. This is your chance. You still some drive shot. Special skills are more powerful than regular command, but they use up more stamina. It's important to know when to use them most effectively. That is an accurate statement. Now, in this case, after you win the matchup, obviously right here, you're stopped because it's a tutorial. But you have to keep in mind that after you win a matchup, you have to. Well, now they added a button that will appear right here, and I'll show you how to do that. A button that appears up here so that you can access your special shot hmm, like that right away because if before... If you were too slow at doing this and this, by the time your character started moving, your defender's closing in on you and you took too long and you didn't get your shot off. Oh, they let you see you. Oh, okay. They updated the shot all of a sudden. That's nice. Alrighty, now let's see what it does. Now they take out the ball, of course. Great goal after you score. Play resume with the goal kick for your opponent. As you see, they try to pass over you. Tsubasa takes the ball. See how you intercepted that pass just now without selecting a command? If your opponent tries to pass or shoot and one or more of your players are in the line of the ball, they'll automatically try to intercept or block it. They don't always succeed, of course. Now, let's pause the game for a moment while I go over the match screen. Okay. Keep in mind that in a normal game while you're playing, the fact that this character that tried to pass over you is red. He would have had the advantage over you being green if your stats were identical or his are sire. Okay? So, when the ball's in your team's possession, info about the player who currently has the ball is displayed here on your left hand side. This is the full power button. Tapping it will activate full power mode down here. Full power mode. Let's see if it explains it. When you do this, your critical rate is raised and the amount of stamina you use in matchup is reduced. <clears throat> In order to use full power football mode, your gauge needs to be full. The gauge fills up during the course of the match, such as when you're scored against and when you win or lose matchups. It fills up more easily when you're losing, so even if you're behind, if you time it right, you can use it to turn things around in your favor. When a critical is triggered, your player's stats will be temporarily boosted for that matchup only. There are three types of critical, silver, gold, and rainbow. Okay, so before we get to the strategy. <clears throat> so the full power. When that starts act, when you have it activated, it said right there that it raises your chance of a critical, but no, you're guaranteed 100% a critical. Now, most often you're going to see a silver. Sometimes you'll see a, a gold, and then sometimes you'll see a rainbow. Supposedly, a rainbow is supposed to be the highest boost in stats, but even then, that doesn't guarantee that you're going to win a matchup. Again, RNG happens, all right? It just increases your chances substantially but it does not guarantee anything, all right? So, full power, again, 
100% that you're going to get a critical, so it increases your chances of winning matchups. The other thing, it reduces the cost of your stamina by 50%. 50%. So if you have like a shot or something that costs 500 stamina, it's going to cost you 250. Now that matters a lot too, because, well, you have to manage your stamina. And then you have to get a gauge and a feel for how long the full power usually lasts for so that you could get the most out of it. And the way that it fills up, like it said there, that when you win or lose that matchups. So in some cases, like let's say for example, you have a forward that's all offensive. He doesn't have any defensive skills whatsoever. So you get placed in a matchup against somebody on your opponent. <clears throat> when, they, when they're when uh, they selecting their command, if you guess the command that they're going to do, but even with the with the basic command, so let's say they use a special skill for a pass and you decided to select intercept. The fact that you select that you guess correctly means that you're gonna get like a slighter a higher boost to the full power gauge. So uh, it's that's the time that you're gonna use a basic command most of the time. I would not recommend going for tackle most of the time because you kind of wanna avoid getting a random a random foul being called against you with the random red card that you don't want to get okay so the other thing if uh somebody if you decide to be one of those people that's like okay well i'm just gonna shoot from far away until uh, i drain the goalkeeper or something like that keep in mind that when you shoot to drain if you pass a, however many players you pass along the way because they guess correctly with the block even though you go over them their full power gauge fills up a lot faster and the game is considering it as like they're losing or something like that. So you're just helping your opponent and fill up their full power gauge a lot faster. There's a lot of other ways too through hidden abilities and stuff like that where the character cards will allow you to either start up with a, a boosted full power gauge or I think that one is actually not used that much anymore. More often you'll come across maybe some character cards that will boost the amount of full power gauge that you get when you win a matchup so we'll come across we'll go over that when we come across it right now <clears throat> we're gonna go to the strategy switch that's down here there's defense balance and offense let's see what the game says when you change your strategy the actions your players take will change accordingly it's important to change your strategy according to the situation using using defensive when you're ahead and offensive when you're behind for instance mm. Well, that's a suggestion. There's times where even you're ahead, you need your player. Well, let's see what it says. Oh, that's it? No, 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 no. Okay. All they suggested here is that if you're ahead, which I guess means in the score, if you're ahead, oh, leave it on offensive. Oh, leave it on defensive, I guess, you know, to defend your lead. And if you're behind, move to offensive. So that, you know, you could, like, try and score and tie it up. But the thing is that you need these strategies to control how your players move on the field period so even if you're ahead 1-0 for example okay and you have the ball up ahead yeah you're probably going to be on offensive to make your players go up but let's say you lose the ball down here or something like that you might want to switch your strategy to balance or defense or defense to make your players start dropping back a little bit so that you don't get caught with like let's say all of your defensive players right here at the midfield and then they easily pass over you or something to have a clear path to the goal okay so you have to think clearly or carefully i should say about how you use your strategy down here for defense balance and offense not just when you're ahead if you get lazy or if you get complacent with just okay i'm just gonna leave it on offense the whole game trust me people are gonna find the holes in the in the game because of the fact of how your players are moving and they'll pass over you kind of easily okay so keep that in mind there are three different control modes in manual mode you control all your players actions yourself in semi auto you only control them during matchups and in auto everything is fully automated if you choose auto or semi auto you can also increase the speed of the match that's good to know for you you can change the default control mode at any time from the gameplay tab in the option screen so do you understand how matches are played now i do okay that's the end of match tutorial well, that manual, semi-auto, and auto is going to apply to what you're doing in the game. Most often when you're cleaning through the story and all that stuff to get the dream balls and everything, you're going to do it on auto just so that you breeze through them like this. The Most of the time when you'll do manual is when you come across a PvE event or something that's a little difficult for your players to complete on auto on their own. 
and you're just gonna have to take control of the game basically and complete it there yourself okay uh give me one second i need to check something real quick sees all right one second all right so let's continue uh, i clicked on it by accident so my bad okay so let's uh i'm just gonna continue with this because i don't remember where i had left off i think we had already done the tutorial and then we just get over okay you get new players to make your team stronger from transfers transfers are down here <clears throat> to use transfer you need dream balls dream balls dream balls whoops tap here to start the transfer this one is just to start off okay this one's the automatic and run right here now in the previous beginners guide it's a smaller selection now but that's okay in the previous beginners guide i had said to take this naturesa because he was the only one worth taking at the time but now since they made a few changes a lot of the naturesas already come with the skill that this one has okay which is the flying drive overhead kick however if you get the dream collection one if you get the dream collection one he does not have this skill so that's the thing the only problem is that it depends at when you're starting the game and the dream collection one by the time that you're able to use them this skill probably won't matter so for the sake of starting starting now it's my opinion that instead of natureza you're gonna want to get this nita right here the reason for that is that this nita recently underwent uh, a rework okay so they updated his stats and stuff like that and not that they made him like extremely good or anything like that but for a beginner he has decently good stats this is not gonna matter because you're not gonna be able to unlock it right away anyway but for a beginner, this one has decent enough stats where it will allow you to complete a lot of events or a lot of stories and stuff like that a lot easier. So it is of my opinion that you should start with that character card. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So, oh yeah, the way that you do it is by sliding your finger across your screen or your, you know, the cursor or whatever, just whoop lighting it looks like you got a good player congratulations let's put him away put him into your team straight away so now whenever you pull a card like this this is what the screen is gonna look like if you click on switch down here on the left side you can see the type of skills that he has okay and then also if you want to see a little more oh they're not gonna let me see it never mind never mind okay Tap on the team button to start editing your team, which is down here. Now, when you click there, players that you're just uh, players that you've just obtained will have been sent to your reserves. Try swapping one of your current team members for the player that you just got. No, I'm not skipping it because your reserves are. Oh, uh, my face is covering it. Hold on. Okay, so. Your reserves are down here on the bottom right side. So you're gonna click on that. Then you're gonna see this player right here. Basically, that's supposed to be your finger. And you use that to drag the player out. It's a forward, so you have to put him up here. Click on switch down here. And there you go. Next, let me show you how to set your team's captain. So you basically just have to click on the player up here on the top left. And this is where you could change the player's number as well as you see fit a point captain okay okay now you're done editing your team click on the back button which my face is covering now on the bottom left the back button will always be located on the bottom left oh let me get it out of her way okay finally will you let me know your name and your team's name sure for now we're gonna go with brown fc brown what a great name okay from here on out is up to you collect players and build the ultimate team but battle it out with your rivals if you're unsure where to start i'd recommend the following <laughs> watching this video to start second well first play story mode to raise your player rank we'll get into that 
Once you reach rank 3, have a go at the league mode to improve your skills. Kind of, but no. Missions give you targets to work towards, and when you achieve these targets, you'll receive rewards. Make sure to check here more often. So to summarize, 1, 2, and 3, the missions over here on the top left, you have daily missions to do. It just tells you to complete missions to receive rewards. On these missions, you have daily missions that reset every day. That allows you, but there's also event missions and all this other stuff. Okay, we'll go over that in a bit. Uh, the challenges, we'll go over that as well. If there's anything else you don't understand, select help from the menu. You should be able to find out what you need to know from there. I don't think so. Okay, good luck. I'll be rooting for you. Okay, so now we start off the game. Every time you first come in, you're going to get this login stuff that shows you news and events and all that stuff that's going on. We're not going to go through all of this right now, but it's just to give you an idea. Later on in the game, once you start getting the hang of it, then you know what's up. You click on the don't display again here again today. Okay, again today. So anytime the timer resets for the day, you'll see this pop up. Okay, I'll let you see this for now. Okay, so there you have it right now. Currently going on is the Happy Valentine's transfer that is current at this time as of whatever february date is today 2023 i think february 7th or something like that all right so this whoops well this is the login bonus that's going on right now you see all the rewards that are here sorry that i clicked on it right away it's just a habit now to click through it right away we have this going on for this month and it started at the beginning of January 31st, okay, so I'm not going to be able to claim all the rewards based on the amount of days that are left to log in. Here we have the beginner login bonus, so when you first start off, here you go, you have 7 days of bonuses. 50 dream balls plus 1060 plus another 1070 plus another, oh, okay, they start you off with 9, oh, 100, I missed this 10 right here, hello. 50, 10, and then right here, another 40 is 100 and 1 SSR guaranteed, okay, so that's going to start you off for your first 7 days. We'll go over what this green thingy right here is and what it will give you. This one shows you what you're going to get tomorrow. You're going to get another 10 Dream Balls here and another one of these green things right here. We'll go over that. Okay. Now, Gift Beginner Bonus has arrived. I'll explain what's in it. You can get 11 players and one formation from the beginner. You're going to select one of the three different concept teams. The player should have some skills to tap on a player to check their status. You can't, cha you can't change after you select the team, so choose carefully. You got it. I made recently a video on this one right here, the gift beginner bonus, so go check it out, okay? Too long didn't read version of it is don't pull if you are a beginner. Save it, save it, save it, okay? But you gotta see why. Go check it out. So now, here we go. Um, okay, so when you first start off, this is what the screen is gonna look like, more or less more or less okay we have this present thing up here those are ads okay those are gifted ads you have three available to view from there and the thing with that is that okay let me explain every day you have dailies okay daily missions we'll go over the missions but also through the ads you get three right here you get one on the energy renewal so for the sake of this video for the sake of the beginner guy we're gonna refer to this as energy and the energy that your players use will refer to as stamina okay so this is energy what the players consume is stamina at least for the sake of this video so to recover energy right here that is required to run events and stories and stuff like that and we'll check that out as well when you start running out you get a plus sign right here to increase it to refill it by whatever your maximum is right here to start it's only 30 but as your rank starts going up right here that will increase the amount of energy you have available to complete events and story now i will show you in this beginner's guide how to maximize this as you go along if you want to be the try hard version of it basically 
so that you maximize the amount of energy that you have so you get as many dream balls as possible and complete as many events as possible and level up your characters as fast as possible okay so you get three ads right here from the transfers there's one that's in called an ad transfer and that one you have three right there so a three plus three is six plus this one is seven and then you complete events certain events most events and the story mode as well you get um three ads after you complete it after you complete it you have an option to view an ad to double your rewards you get three of those so all in all there's three 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 nine and one is ten ads the overall total that you get from ten ads are three dream balls meaning you could get three dream balls maybe in the first three ads that you watch sometimes you have to view all ten ads to get all three so you have to keep track of how many ads you've seen well in some cases because in some cases like the gift one right here it tells you how many you have left and the uh, ad transfer it does not tell you how many you have left and the other one for the events it does tell you how many you have left of those so uh you know if you've already claimed your dream dream balls then you don't have to view any more ads if you don't want to but if you viewed all these ads you have to think about and you still haven't gotten all three dream balls and there's one ad left you have to make sure that you go back and you know see where what area you have left to uh view another ad all right so you're gonna get three there then when you complete the daily missions you get one more so you get four from the shop you get one for free every single day so that's five five dream balls per day plus other missions and all this other stuff and clearing events give you dream balls and that's the most important thing of this game getting dream balls so that you can pull on the transfers to collect new players the video that you just saw just happens to be for the new transfer that is available right now and it tells you right here how many days are left on it okay we're gonna have to go over stuff later on regarding dream collection and dream festival and stuff like that but first let's get started with the things that we gotta do okay so i just started off right here uh, actually, let me give it a quick pause, all right? Be right back. Okay, you guys ready to try hard then or what? Well, I'm not going to do the ads right here just yet, but pretty much this is what we're going to do. At the very beginning, I would suggest we well, already put your player right there. Start off on events. Okay, you can have magic special opponents in events, blah blah blah. There are events that give you raise rewards, raising soon as well. Player challenge goes to touch your strength against powerful opponents. Got it. So, the challenge road is not something you're gonna do for a little bit. At the time that I did the last beginner's guide, this is something that I used to renew every month, and you would essentially get 30 dream balls out of it, but that's not the case anymore. Now, they they become like a permanent 30 and they, they've just been adding to them so right now they're up to 34 but once you clear those 34 that's it there's no renewal they're just waiting until you add they add another two i guess okay so for the time being we're not doing that events we're not gonna start off with that either right now rate and hidden skill either we're gonna start off here with evolve player because all of your character cards and everything are at low level so you want to bring them up you're not going to worry about this one except for clearing it for the dream ball, but not yet. These are limited to three plays a day. So you want to use these first, these first so that you could get your, uh, the notebooks and the all purpose coaches that are required to level up the character cards. Okay. Now I guess also, uh, I should clarify then, uh, no, I'll wait till we get to it. Okay. This is for coins. The coins are going to need to train players this is for uh when you get to hidden ability evolution but that's not till a little bit later this one is for limit breaking we'll get to that later these are for <laughs> these right here are for uh uh you need these to do hidden ability hidden ability evolution we'll get into that later and these right here just so that you could get to simple evolution and we'll get to that later okay because there are different rarities of cards there is n r s r r uh s s r and u r okay but every card that you get well for the most part they can only evolve one level above 
so ultimately what you want to end up with is cards that are you arm but you have to get them as ssr to begin with and then you have to level them up train them up and then you have to use those other materials to evolve into the ur and then train them up again okay let's see how far we can get through in this tutorial so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this one as you see i clicked on play match go to solo play and then right here when you come across this one you select a friend all this does is give you like a boost to your stats to some of your stats oh you know what uh okay a boost to your stats when the match begins now we had already gone through the team whatever let me see if there's a difference here because you can also edit your team from this screen right here and then when you edit let me edit a second one okay so when you come here you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten different ones oh i could have just done this <laughs> all right ten different decks decks remember these are character cards these are all cards think about them as if you're playing pokemon or something like that and you're using you know you're using physical cards but in this case you're using digital cards just to have access to the players but it is not a card game you saw the screen as to how the game is played this is not a card game it's just that we're going to refer to these as cards for the sake of identifying uh well a specific player card and what i mean by that is that this character right here is named Shunita. So that's a character. Just like there's Misaki, there's Subasa, there's Genzo, there is uh, Hyuga. Those are all different characters or players. But if I say a character card, then I'm referring to this specific character, this specific card. Because there are a whole bunch of different cards for Shunita, okay? Just like there are for Misaki, just like there are for a whole bunch of other characters, okay? So, um, I'm going to create another team. Whoops. Auto pick, auto pick, full auto. Just to see if, okay, so it added this. Just to add the team skills, all right? And now, when you're here, this is a super easy stage. So, I'm going to set this to offense right here on the skill. And then set it to auto down here. I think you probably can't see it. One second. Okay, so for the next video, the next time I have to do something like this, I'm gonna have to set up OBS so that I can simply just go bloop, 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 or from left to right or whatever instead of the way that I'm doing it right now because, well, I didn't think it through completely, okay? I'm just going along. So here we go, down here on the right side, you see there's semi auto and auto and manual. Manuals for those cases where you want to play with the game, see what's up, get a feel for it, blah, blah, blah. Say my auto just means that the game will run by itself, but whenever you come across a matchup, then that's when you take control just to select the skills or whatever it is that you want to do. For this case, we're just going to go with auto, leave this on the two arrows so that it speeds up instead of just one, and that way it'll complete a lot faster. And you shall see, for especially for these, the training ones, the coin ones and the other one that provides you with the materials for uh, the skill field edit which we'll get to later those matches only last one half and the half only goes up to 30 minutes and it's an accelerated time of course you don't really play 30 minutes of real life time it's just whatever the game's version as you can see the timer is speeding up right and in this case it doesn't matter how good your team is, how bad it is, whatever, you already automatically start with the 3-0 lead. This is supposedly the second half or whatever, so these will automatically be cleared right away, right off the bat. These are super easy where you don't have to do anything. You see, look, Woo, no hands, everybody no hands. So you let this complete, and then from here, I'm going to run the ad, which I will not include in the video, but I'm going to run the ad so that you can see what it does and whatnot, I. Right? all right so here you go then whenever you clear an event or after an online match or anything like that you'll come across this type of screen right here that shows you who scored when with what your basic stats right here of course you clear that this will always happen on your first clear reward for any event or a story thing that you defeat 
Okay, right here we did not reach the maximum right here to use the skip ticket, but I don't think we can use skip tickets on this one anyway. And you don't have any just yet, but we'll get into that later. Friend points you're gonna need for the friend transfer, and that's just required for some daily missions to be able to get the dream ball. Uh, the player XP right here is for your rank. See, so this one only gives you a hundred. That's why we're going the try hard, ver try hard version because I didn't want to rank up right away just by completing story. So I'm doing this to use up some of my energy and to double up on the rewards right here so that I could level up some characters fast. Okay, so down here on the bottom right, you see it says two times reward. So you click on that. Three more uses possible. Let's watch the ad. Well, you won't. I'm going to skip it for you or remove it from the video, okay? Hold on. All right, so after you finish the ad, there's going to appear an X somewhere on the screen for you to close it out. Sometimes they're 5 seconds, sometimes they're 15, sometimes they're 30 seconds. It varies. So sometimes you could get lucky and clear through them like ASAP with those 5 second ones, okay? So now it tells you right here, the Dream Ball Lottery. You have three more obtainable until reset. This is what I was talking about earlier. So now let's see if we get lucky right here. No, we did not. So that means that we still have more rewarded ads to view. And as you see right here, these jump from five to 10. These are for the stats. This is for the level. Stats right here, levels right here. I'll show you. Okay, I'm not gonna get any friend requests. The friend requests, all that they're good for, so that you, when you complete this, when you participate in these events, you go ahead and um, you could see them more frequently in your friends list, so that you could use your team's team skill to boost up your players to complete the stage. Okay, I'm gonna do it again because again we're doing the try hard mode right now, and I want to show you. Okay. Hold up. All right. So now we are on the last one of the reward of the clear rewards ads so that you don't have to view it. Let's see. All right. We got lucky here. So we get our first one right here. It tells you that two more are left, right? So we have more ads to go, but I'm not going to look at them right now. We'll cancel that. Now, let me show you how to train your player. As you see, I already cleared all three of them. You get max of three. You see up here, my energy. Two out of 30, two out of 30. You see the plus sign now? There it is. This is how you can watch an ad. There's going to be a few times. You never want to use up your dream balls to recover your energy. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's why I want to help you maximize your energy right now so you can increase your energy level, your rank, and your energy level so that you never have to do this. Then later on along the way, you'll get some rewards where you get some energy balls as well, some energy recovery balls so that you can... Uh, you know, play the game a little bit more because later on down the line when you want to clear the stages that you need to clear for a certain item that you need to unlock hidden abilities, you're going to need a lot of energy. I, but, you know, once you clear them later on down the line, then, you know, you should be good. But I'm not going to view one just yet. Oh, I already have three. Okay, so let me show you, I guess. Let me train a player and then let me show you what's up. This is a timer, right? You see, as the timer's going down, it starts giving you one right here. I think you get one per... Oh, it's a... No, wait. Oh, I guess this timer is how much time you have left to fill it up completely. So it's an hour and 20 minutes, I believe. Yeah, an hour and 20 minutes to fill it up completely. Okay. I could have sworn that there is a way to change what that shows you. Anyway, okay. So now, we'll see. No, thank you. We have 100 left right here. My bad, my bad, my bad. 
Okay, we'll go through the story mode. You can play against team, blah, blah, blah. Next stream, uh-huh. Next stream right here is exclusive to the game. The story exclusive to the game. It's not available in the manga as far as I know. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and go through here. Right here, when you're barely up to rank 50, this is always going to cost you one half, okay? 50%. Oh, yeah, I forgot about all of this. All right, so for the sake of this beginner's guide, I'm just gonna skip it, okay? I did kind of have in mind of making like a video where I do all of the storylines and we go through it just because. Just because, but you know, uh, that'll probably be a future project just for the heck of it, right? So we could read through all of this and we could read through all the growth and everything and blah, 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 the characters and everything. You see, I could skip them if I want to, which I did. We get Dream Balls for clearing it. We have a normal, hard, and very hard. Each one will unlock as you complete them. Right here, as you click on it, it tells you how much energy you need to play the match. So right here, we just need three. I'm going to go ahead and do that. We have three right here. So as you saw, I did three. Three to start. The... The, da, 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 the event I went to events I went to the evolution items and then from there from there did I explain this already where you see the verses in any other event or in the online you're going to see this verses and you're going to see the players show up right here and then when your opponent comes up as you see that it gives you stats up from the supporter later on you're going to see values that are called bond and debuff and stuff like that and you'll see that it has some sort of change on the stats like here, you see I'm doing nothing. I'm letting it complete all on its own. Um, the other thing I wanted to explain was that, okay, so I did the three th for the thing to get the items to level up and train your players, like this one. Uh, I haven't trained them at all. He's level one with no increase to his stats whatsoever, and he's completing the stages for us very easily. So that's why you want to get this one. Not just for this, uh, not just for this event, but for other ones as well. Um, we'll go ahead and proceed with showing you how to train that player. Mm, you're gonna see after this. Whenever you hear this music, by the way, whenever you hear this music, is because it's towards the end of the match. Usually towards the end of the match. Okay. So you're gonna see how your energy, again, your energy will fill up all the way whenever you rank up. Okay, and right now because you have times six energy, I'm sorry, times six experience because you're a beginner on the story mode. You saw that we we're only getting 100 experience on uh, the event for the items, but for this one is time six. Look at the rank right here. See, I'm fully recovered, max 34. So that one match alone gave us 3,000 because it's plus 500% during this campaign. The campaign meaning that you're a beginner. So 3,000 for that one match alone, and that's why we were able to rank up so high. Now 720, we should be able to rank up easily if I choose to use one more storyline. But if I use one storyline, let's say I do this one, it's only eight energy. So as soon as I complete it, I'm gonna recover all of my energy right away, right away. I don't want to do that. I want to maximize my energy because I want to try hard. Okay? I want to try hoard. And when we try hoard right here, that means we're trying to get as much dream balls and maximize much, as much energy as we can right here. And then, you know, you're going to rank up easily. Don't worry about it. Don't even trip, dude. Don't even trip. Alright? Bonus. When you see the bonus right here on the shop, let's claim it now. When you go to the shop, doesn't mean that everything is just that not just everything is money related. Yes, there's of course some real life currency stuff for you to purchase, but this one right here, the free pack, will always be free and you'll always get it once a day. The reason why it tells me 17 hours left is because I have 17 hours to claim this before the reset period. Once there's a reset, this will renew and you will get one again and then all your ads will renew everything renews everything resets so keep an eye out for this to learn when your reset period is 
because if you do not complete the dailies before the reset period then you do not get an opportunity to claim them and well now you're focused on the new day's dailies because of the reset okay so i'm gonna click it once to go ahead and collect that thank you very much is you get some items that i don't care about i'm sure they're to level up and whatever but the dream boss what we care about we got seven in total right here i'm not gonna go through all of these shops right now because it's just too much and it's getting late for me here and i want to get some of the basic stuff first and then maybe later on i'll uh record stuff for the shops and maybe add it onto this video or do it as a video separately because you know this stuff changes okay like the dream festival medal right here you're not always going to see it the valentine's medal is because of the event that's on right now the next dream player exchange medal is because of the transfer that's on right now we haven't gotten to that point yet the dream ball exchange shop is for skills primarily regular medals this updates every two hours right here uh coin exchange shop and blah 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 blah, blah. so as you can see there's so much to do but because you know i get easily distracted i don't want to go into all of this right now that's why let's focus okay so uh let's claim the presents right here and the presents you could collect oh up to ten thousand now that's right a hundred pages before it was one page for a hundred presents now they decided to give us a hundred so okay why not but almost everybody almost always will usually just go ahead on boop accept all there we go we start off with 80 dream balls right here Got ourselves the Taro Misaki, uh, Subasa Osora, and all kinds of stuff just to be able to start off right. Skill knowledge right here. All right, this gives us an opportunity to go over something in this beginner's guide. So now I have those players. Let's go down here on the bottom left. Let's hope that you can see it. Oh, look. Okay. So as I was saying, down here, the bottom left, we're going to click on players. There's a whole bunch of different stuff here. Training, evolution, hidden ability evolution, ability limit break, skill field that it boundary breaks. So we're going to go on all this later at some point. It has special skills. Teach special skills. Skill removal. Player list. Player database. Item list. Sell player. And all that stuff. The player database was one of my favorite things to go through when I first started the game. It shows you all of the characters that are available in the game. And when you click on any one of these characters, as you can see, one out of 122. There's 122 cards of this guy. 109, 105, 58, 103, 71, and so on. So that should help you also when you're pulling for players because you're going to see some of them that although they might be strong now, because they don't have that many variations of their cards of the character i should say there might not be that many skills available for them to use to add variety to their skill set okay and of course some of these unfortunately well they're just in here because of the manga and stuff like that but some of these are basically going to be considered the trash ssr character cards that you're going to be getting at some points in the game where you're gonna experience some disappointment, like you know, the, the memes and stuff like that, the jokes for a while were always, you know, when you would get a Mexico player, which would bring my heart because I wanted like, oh, when I first started the game, yeah, I'm gonna collect the Mexican players and I'm gonna make a team of all Mexicans and I don't care if I get scored on, I'm gonna blah, 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 blah. You know, I dropped that, that thought process very quickly when I found, you know, when <laughs> I really did get tired of getting scored on all the time. And besides, it's not like if I was able to get all the Mexicans super easily anyway. Eventually, we did get them all. But that's because, you know, that, that was a joke that there was just so many. Uh, we would get the SSR pool was not so big and always getting a Mexican instead of something that you wanted was kind of heartbreaking. Okay. But like, let's say right here, Roberto Carolus. Recently, they released a few cards. Or Evangel right here. Very few cards to pull skills from. Or like even to do boundary break or whatever. Which we'll get to at some point. Maybe not in this video. Maybe a separate video. I don't know. But as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different characters. And like, look at this guy right here. Only three. In reality, it's only one. Because this one starts off. Let me show you. This one starts off as an SSR right here. Then you evolve it to a UR. And then you 
hidden ability evolution eyes it you hidden a bit you hidden ability evolve it to get to this and that's what unlocks like uh more hidden abilities and stuff all right we'll get to that eventually you see four four five whatever these these like this one right here though achilles romano fernando gardel john baptiste hugo just hidalgo alfredo di pa piazzola and diago rossi these were all characters that are original to the game nothing to do with the manga nothing at all they were introduced and then they were abandoned so that's it for that have fun with that oh well you know what i'm sorry i showed you guys and i didn't even know show you how to use it okay so let's say you want to like mess around with it you click on also basurasa you click on collection down here and you can go through all of these cards all of the ones that are available okay excuse me Uh, just a lot of talking, a lot of talking, and nothing to quench my thirst. I'm about to take a break in a minute, but okay. So as you go through these cards and you're like, oh, what's all of this? What's all of this? As you see, this one has a little chess piece right there. Usually a chess piece means that you can obtain it through an event. It's a card that's not usually usable. Usually not usable in PvP, but sometimes you can, some cards. Uh, but they're usually like a, an event or a gift or something like that These that have DC on them That means that they are part of the dream collection. You don't see it here But you'll see it here DC is for dream collection meaning that only in the dream collection transfer will you be able to obtain it These that have DF are dream festival Dream collection happens during the middle of every month dream festival happens at the end of every month and those usually have a five percent rate of five percent rate of getting an ssr and usually those are the transfers that contain the most powerful player cards the most powerful cards of a lot of these players okay unfortunately though sometimes some of these player cards exist only for the sole purpose of passing on the skill to a much more powerful player card and we'll go through that later now if you just click on one of these it's just gonna change this but if you want to view what they have you have to click and hold and you can view the maximum under stats and you can see their skills and you can see their hidden ability skills okay and while you're here you can see oh i think i'm blocking it on the bottom hopefully you can see it right here next to the name it shows the necessary skill knowledge okay let me click on one just in case so you could see right here okay oh yeah yeah so much to cover so much okay so now uh let's train some players okay like i said there's still all of this stuff to go through but some of it is just you're really not gonna look at okay so like once you train the players and all this stuff um like they're not gonna be a need to go to the evolution screen because training them from here usually gives you the option to evolve them if you have the materials to do so so let me show you so right here on the filter most of the time i'm gonna have my ssrs you see here these were given to me as a gift that's why they have the chest on them right so those are chest players chest players here we could click on this and we want to do it manually usually from SS ssr to ur it's only four that are required to level them up to the max i'm not bringing up their stats just yet because i do need to bring them up to 80 for the time being and then it's going to give me the option to evolve it which i will and after i evolve it all i did was click on it everybody to skip it right then I'm gonna evolve it, okay. I'm gonna skip the animation again, skip that, click okay, training. So you see after you evolve it, it gives me the option to train it again. So I didn't have to go to the evolution screen, I didn't have to do anything like that. This time I'm gonna go ahead and click on max. 
As you see though, when I click on max, there's still some of these parameters left. 165 left, 106, 138, 72, 741. So I'm gonna click on here. And I'm gonna select on one of these and just add, hopefully that's enough. But you know what? I'm just gonna do it myself. Twenty nine required. Wow, out of one thirty seven because we got some from the gift and we doubled up on the events that we did at the very beginning. You see, so now I'm able to level up this guy. And why are you giving me this in the middle of my training, dude? All right, so this one usually has the capability of doing hidden ability, hidden ability evolution. However, however, we do not have those materials yet. So I was not given that option when I made it to the max. This is just a chest Tsubasa, it's just a gift. It's just for starters, it's not a Subasa that you're gonna wanna be using or pulling for. Well, you can pull for it, obviously, but you know. This is not an end game Subasa, is what I'm getting at. That's all. Okay, now we'll train the Misaki. Now, if I wanna get lazy, I could do max right here. The only reason why I don't like doing it right here is because even though it, it maximizes right here, it feels kind of wasteful sometimes. But let's see. 29 is what it cost me for Nita. Right here it was 11. Let's see. Oh, I don't have enough to evolve them. Boo. See, so I don't have the materials to evolve them. So let's try hard again. Yeah. Oh, I guess we are going to use that. Uh, what's it called? That uh, evolution. What's it called? The evolution screen after all. Oh, well, hopefully we get one of these as a drop. You need these, the rainbow medals right here. So when you clear these, you see right here, I need 30. So I'm going to do that. And then just click on one of these, whatever. Let's clear that. Okay, so now this is a regular match. In this case, of course, I'm just going to let it play for you while I explain. So this particular event is going to drop a lot of the items that are necessary to evolve a player. As you saw, I evolved two of those players from SSR to UR. Now, I didn't pay attention to see how many medals and stuff like that were required. But as you saw, right now, I can only farm the... So I can't even farm the blue ones yet. I made a mistake here. <laughs> All right, then. Then let's see. Let's see. I know what I got to do. I got to do. But in this particular stage is where you're going to be farming those type of metals. It changes every day. Today is the blue one while we're getting spanked here. Today is the blue one. Then it changes to the green one. Then it changes to the red one. Then it changes to everybody Everybody gets, uh, I'm sorry, all three of them. And then you gotta hope that when you clear the stage, you get a rainbow drop. Okay, ooh, come on, Mita, with the comeback. Imagine, ooh, with the comeback, let's go. Come on, Mita, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. You just gotta take a regular shot. Ooh, let's go, one more, one more, just a regular shot. Let's see if I can make it happen. Oh no! <laughs> ah! <laughs> we almost had to come back. Ah! Well, anyway, these are the medals where I lost the energy now. But don't trip. The story mode is gonna recover for me right now. Don't even trip, right? But those are the items that you need to evolve stuff. So, yeah, that did not happen. But let me see. Let me see. I forgot. We don't have a goalkeeper. We don't have a goalkeeper. So you also want to go to the transfer. The daily transfer. There's a, this dream pot transfer right here. Every day for five days. You get one of these for free. They're going to give you one SSR player for free. For one for each position. So you get one goalkeeper, one defender, one defensive midfielder, one offensive midfielder, and one forward. Okay? 
And this is just to help you get started. These are not character cards that most likely might you might not even use them for the skills. Okay. Well, actually, this one you are. And it's a variety of different cards that are available, so you're not guaranteed to get exactly what I'm getting, okay? Uh, I don't want to explain the transfers right now, but as you see, they all cost Dream Balls. But now that I'm here, let me at least take this opportunity to tell you, don't do this one. Don't do this one. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Aside from the fact that it requires paid Dream Balls, don't. None of these character cards are worth the, the paid Dream Balls. No, so don't do it. Don't do it. You see, here's three ads right here. Oh, it does tell you how many. Ha uh ha. -huh. All right, three remaining, three remaining. You'll get some of these as you pull for players, and you'll get some of these right here. Only have 40 as you clear events and stuff, okay? So right now, as you see, I failed to be able to farm that, right? No worries. We only have 420 left. So I'm going to go to story, go right here, complete another one. only three so we'll do that unless let's see how much i need on this one eight okay now nah, we'll go with this one okay we'll go with this one all right so now the purpose is that you know i did not want to use my my ad to recover the energy because you know it's a brand new account and i want to keep playing i want to keep playing i want to keep playing right so that i'm clearing and i'm clearing and i'm clearing stuff because that's all there is to do right now at the beginning as a new player all you can do is clear 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 to save up dream balls because there is an anniversary for this game there are two anniversaries that are celebrated okay at the beginning i'm sorry at the middle of the year around june usually it's the japanese really Jap the japanese anniversary because that's when the japanese version of the game was released for the global version that happens in december usually in usually in june the anniversary lasts about two months two months and you get a whole bunch of transfers you get a bunch of like rewards and you get a bunch of items and stuff like that usually that's the best time to start off the game because you're gonna want to re-roll to start off with the high-end player i am not doing that here instead i will direct you to a re-roll guide that i've already created that is still usable to this day as of february 7 2023 okay so uh, right now we're not experiencing any anniversary so i guess you know you could at least play the game just to kind of get to know what's up or blah 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 or if you did not do that all you're doing then right now is clearing stages that's the primary thing you gotta do clear stages and events save up dream balls save up dream balls save up dream balls clear the events there's gonna be different events and they change every couple of weeks or so and in some cases they get rewards that you need to absolutely want to get your hands on and that you're able to complete and if not well at the very least right now you're gonna get players for free that are gonna allow you to assemble a squad that will at least be enough for you to have players to clear events not for pvp yet you're a long way to go for pvp right now we're just focusing on maximizing what you have so that you can increase what you have and be able to get to the pvp content a lot quicker and more efficiently by being wise with your dream balls and your resources okay so now right now let's check uh we did that 590 let's go to i don't want to go to these missions and challenges just yet because um did i add oh that's where i screwed up too look remember i went to try hard i never added the players that i had just recently leveled up so when you go to the team formation screen at first you're not going to worry about too much about messing around with this you're just going to go to auto pick go to full auto boom 
Oh man, we probably could have had the comeback, dude. I gotta level up this guy as well. So like, let's say you're here. I don't have to go all the way back to home and to players to automatically train them. I could train them from here. So I have this card right here. I'm gonna hold it to go to this screen on the bottom right. Let me make sure I'm not blocking you. Hold up. All right, so like I was saying, on the bottom right where it says enhance, you're gonna click on that and it shows you all kinds of stuff. You see, we have enough of these, but we have no rainbow uh, materials, evolution materials, metals, whatever you wanna call them. We don't have enough. You could train, enhance special skills, teach special skills, do anything you want from here. I'm gonna train them. I won't be able to evolve them, but at the very least, let me get him to a point where he's usable for a lot of these easy stages instead of being just at level one. I bet you anything that now, with this squad that I have, well, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Let's see. If not, well, you know, maybe we could try to do a little manual action, yeah? Let's see. So you can kind of get a little bit of a feel for how the game is played. So, let's go with Japanese football. I'm going to change it to manual. Let's go. Okay, I, I usually play this game on my mobile phone, not really on a computer, but because I'm doing the beginner's guide and I want to give you as much detail and information and examples as possible so that you're not lost. Then I'm making this sacrifice for you. I'm playing it on the PC. Alright, so you see, I'm going to press defense and blah, blah, blah. Uh, let me just pass it. Real oh, I'm not strong enough. Okay, because I have a weak player, that's right. So... Here we go into this because it's Tsubasa. You still see me polishing Kisugi. That's right. All right, so you see now I have this one that's strong. I'm just gonna do this and this. And you see, look at this weak guy right here. That's why I was losing an auto. So when you come to this screen, you could check by clicking on the player, and it shows you both players' skills and all that stuff. Okay. Passive and hidden skills, if they have any, right here I have auto intercept enhance automatically, 70% only. And then we'll get into other stuff later. I'll have to create a gameplay video that shows you a lot more details, okay? Because this is pretty empty. Because we're doing the basics of the basics right now. Okay, so special skills. We'll try Aurora Curtain, 340 stamina out of 805 available. This guy has no special skills available. Just go with intercept and block just because why not. As you can see, rock, paper, scissors. I have a tackle and go for the, the shot, but I'm much stronger, so of course that's gonna happen. Ah, I wanted a white pass over him. Oops, I probably shouldn't have picked on it. My bad. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna dribble and then I'm gonna pass over this guy. See if the pass goes through. And then, oh, I didn't set him to have the automatic shot. Oh, well, I'll do that in a, in a different video. All right, so let's do this. I want to say that this player right here might be strong enough to score simply with the regular white shot. So I'll see if I could try that right now. And then after we get at least two goals or something, then I'm going to switch it to autoplay. So that's the benefit too, that you can start it off on manual just to kind of like secure the win for a little bit if you have to. And then click on auto to just play it out, finish playing it out. And put, click on press click on press click and hold on press so that it can come up to him oh no oh no oh no i'm very weak here so i'm not gonna do that i prefer to click on intercept because usually when you're playing against the computer right here they tend to get favorable matchup results so i want the defender in this case in this case ah oh, okay ah 
Let's see if I can. So I wanted the defender. Uh, in most cases, I want the defender to hold on to the ball when I'm playing against the NPCs. So I'll usually click on intercept anyway, and they will dribble instead. And sometimes they're silly enough to waste all of their stamina on nothing but, but dribbles getting by, trying to get by you. So it's convenient to select intercept. I think I should be almost pretty good to just auto play it from here once I get the ball back. Maybe. Okay, so we'll use full power right here, but that's just because I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you now that I'm here. Usually, my suggestion for full power football is that if it's over 30 minutes, well, minutes, right? If it's over 30, I wouldn't use it unless you absolutely have to. Because this is usually going to last you the length of about 15 minutes. So if anything, about 29 or 30, 31, 32, maybe 33, depending on your situation, you can decide whether it's favorable to use it or not. I used it right here just to show you real quick. As you see right here, it's reduced to 30 instead of 60, and right here is 60 instead of 120 on the 1-2. The special skills right here also is only 215, whereas previously it was at 400 and something. If I had not used full power, I would not have had enough stamina up here to be able to use this shot. Oh yeah, I forgot that I could have changed it to auto too while I was there. Oh well, my bad. I'll show you on this next one real quick. Actually, no. No, I'll save it for a gameplay video. Gameplay. Right now, I'm just trying to get you ahead, get you started. The video's already taking a lot longer than I had expected. So, change it to auto, auto play. Hurry up. Kick back a little bit. Try to stretch out my back so it don't hurt too much, you know. Woke up this morning. Oops. I woke up this morning. I didn't think I was going to get a, a chance to record because I had to miss work. I twisted my neck, yo. Like I slept wrong or something. Like it was weird the way that it happened, but you know, I couldn't move. I felt like Batman. Like I couldn't move left. I had to be all like move my entire body and everything. And that does not allow me to do my work efficiently. So I needed to, you know, want to take the day off to recover. Just doing a lot of different things and whatever to make sure that I can go back to work and do my work at, if not at full capacity, then at least at like about 80% or something like that, you know? getting a little late here so let's hurry up i don't even know how far i'm gonna cover here i had everything written down in a notebook but right now i'm just kind of like going along as i go trying to think off the top of my head all the things that i think are important just to give you a nice start and it's kind of hard not to make it too long because well that's just how the game is there's just a lot of it see so we ranked up 4130 is what i saw we did not get lucky here so okay no rainbow medal for us, but no. Okay, that's just because we don't have any skip tickets. If we had skip tickets, the fact that we got one, two, and three here, you have to clear it up to here to be able to unlock this option, but we don't have any tickets. 38, I don't want to go through another one of those. Uh, let's see, let's see what else. All right, so as I mentioned, you have three ads right here. The ads will give you a bunch of different rewards from different uh, medals and all this stuff, some level up items. The gift beginner bonus, I made a video for that already, so go check that out. So basically now what you're gonna wanna do is just basically go through like some events, go through a variation of events and story mode. Event and story mode. So you maximize your energy here and how much you need to rank up here so right let's say then now i'm at 38 so i'll probably want almost any one story mode right now it's going to give me about 3000 we saw right 3000 plus so we could start off by either continuing to if you all of these from the evolve section 
will give you very little uh, experience for your rank. So you could do some of these and then do the uh, story mode. So like let's say right here, if I do one of these that cost me 30. I don't know for this one, I think this one is actually a little bit harder. I don't know if we're strong enough to clear this one just yet. From what I remember, this one for sure we're not strong enough to clear yet. But you're gonna want to clear these eventually. Me, oh, I don't know about this one. I think first we need to be able to secure an SSR goalkeeper, which we will get from that Dream Pot transfer, and then we could clear some of the harder stuff here. But in the meantime, we could at least do maybe some of these. We'll clear that. Then when the, this goes down to 18, and then we could clear this one. And then we'll have eight and then I could do two story modes and then I'll rank up and then go back to doing other stuff and blah, blah, blah. See, so that's the way that you're going to want to start off the game. All right. Uh, right now, because it's getting late and because I didn't start earlier, like I probably should have, I'm going to call the video here because that's pretty much it in terms of helping you get started and kind of like wondering all right where do i go what do i do well, what should i clear which direction should i go and blah 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 you go through that okay uh i guess let me show you some of the missions and how it works as you see as we've been going through different things we've been clearing different missions we've been get, we're gonna get a bunch of different rewards from collecting coins to collecting players and all kinds of different stuff you have your daily right here. Today's daily involved clearing one weekly mission match, which we did. Now we need two league play mode matches right here, which uh, I guess I could complete, but not for the sake of the video. Uh, I'll have to do that in a separate video. This events one is limited. This happens only every now and then, and it always tells you how many days are left these free ones once you complete them that's it they're gone until they re uh, they renew no they don't renew them they just add more missions to them you'll see there's a whole bunch of different stuff that completes but when you complete some of these they will be updated so like let's say for example when you do perform boundary break on one player to stage two after you complete that then it'll update to like complete five players to stage two complete ten players to stage two stuff like that and then from there from there you will get um you know you'll get more items more dream balls and stuff like that i'm just gonna click on accept all right here all right so we got ourselves 23 dream balls right here oh this is how we can start off with uh an ssr goalkeeper right here too this gifted SSR goalkeeper right here is not bad just to get you started in the game to clear some stages that are not even necessarily hard, but just that require that you have at least an SSR slash UR goalkeeper to uh, start off, you know, clear some of those easy ones. That one wasn't that bad. Okay. So you see right here next stream. That's where it took me to. It took me to the next stream one. So let me show you. That one, you find it in the story mode. So you might want to do this next before you go through the events and all this other story stuff. The next stream story is just that. Story, 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 story. I don't think... There might be some that have a match or two that you have to clear. So this, you're going to get dream balls and stuff like that. You know, it's not going to be like a whole bunch. Most of these have like two, maybe three dream balls to collect. And then later on, they'll have like one or two or something like that. But once you clear, I think it's up to either here or here. Once you clear those, then that's how you clear that mission to get that SSR slash UR goalkeeper. So you could do this route if you want to. You see, but then again, this gets ahead to the storyline later on down the road but if that's not what you care about then you could just easily go into it wait for it to load up click on the menu right here and skip it bada bing bada boom you clear it you get the reward you get some you get some dream balls go to the next one as you see you complete it right away uh not now you complete it right away you gotta let it load up and then wait for the menu skip it okay Yes, 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 thank you, 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 thank you. Okay, see there's two of them right here, two of them, so 
we'll clear that as well let's see if there's a match that's gonna pop up or not I don't know I don't remember sometimes the artwork is really nice so I would suggest that you at least check it out it's worth watching right now I just wanted to show you see I'm competing it ASAP ASAP so you could get yourself a goalie right away so that you could clear some of the harder events uh, that you know is being prevented because of the lack of a goalkeeper the challenge right here let's go over that now right here we edited a team so you see a lot of these are gonna be cleared uh, naturally this one we're supposed to use a transfer ticket so let's we're gonna accept all and right here we get a transfer ticket so now we can go to home we go to transfers gonna go back do this transfer now this is SR plus so there's a chance a small chance even though it says chance doesn't mean anything that you might pull an SSR player no flares no anything so that's a clear indicator that you're not getting an SSR player normally you see a call like you know it, it, it gets a little uh well you'll see just look through some of my pool videos and you'll see what it looks like okay and even then sometimes the game tricks you where it gives you all these flares and you still don't get it you still don't get something i'm gonna go back to home and you'll see the challenge cleared up so i'm gonna go ahead accept all to clear this get my extra five dream balls and then now the next set of missions opens up some of these we already have you see we already did them so we already cleared now the only thing is that we can't get to the next round i forgot how many let's see let's see okay so there's a lot of different stages stages right now we're barely in this one beginner round two the only way that you can get the rest of these to open up is by making sure you clear up the ones from here so like let's say for example now we have to do this win a weekly match okay we'll do that scenario clear i'm not sure which scenario okay we'll get to that one eventually naturally just by playing the game this is from the story mode the weekly match i thought we had cleared a weekly match already okay well we did clear a weekly match but this one in particular did not count uh, why these counted but this one didn't i don't know but we're gonna go ahead and click on that and it's gonna take us back basically to the ones that we were talking about it says weekly right here this one weekly this one weekly you saw we already cleared one but it didn't count it so i will go ahead and clear this one and then it's gonna count and then we have to clear the thing for Nakahara Middle School and blah, blah, blah. And then it'll clear it and it'll go on to the next one. Okay. So, uh, okay. That's a lot to start with. I know. That's just to get you started. I'm going to have to create a beginner's guide part two to show you, you know, how boundary break works and all that other stuff. And that'll be more for like, you know, beginners, but also for uh returning players people that used to play but i don't I haven't played it for a while and they're trying to make a comeback and want to understand the new mechanics of the game that beginner's guide part two will be focused more for them and this one well i don't want to explain hidden abilities and all that stuff right now because there's really no point okay if you're a true beginner all this information that i give you right now should be enough for you to just go ahead and clear 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 right now it's february don't pull for anything don't pull don't pull because yes we're gonna have to go over boundary break but i don't have any materials on this account to show you how that works and the thing is that any one of these players none of these are worth pulling right now and if you pull them right now they're not gonna be worth it in june when the anniversary comes around and you're still not going to have enough Tamatsus, which I'll explain later, which this guy's Tamatsu guy right here. You're going to get some medals that have this guy's face right here. And that's what allows you to boundary break these characters up to stage four. Or if you have duplicate cards, you can use that as well to upgrade them by one stage. But again, that's a whole other animal to go over. So I will have to save that for a different video for now. 
Just keep in mind that not a single one of these players are worth you using any of your dream balls right now. So don't do it. Don't do it. You just have to save, unfortunately. That's how the game is right now. None of these players are going to be worth it later on down the line. And even though these are brand new skills right now, you have no use for these brand new skills. The graceful dribble attack. You don't have a, another Misugi that's available for you to use right now. You don't have another Soda that could benefit from the block skill. You don't have another Isawa. This one is not even a new tackle for him. So don't trip. Don't worry. Don't worry about the itch to pull. Don't worry about the itch to pull. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Right now, you're not pulling on anything. Don't pull. Don't pull. Don't pull. Don't pull. Just clear, 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 clear. That's it. Clear stages. Clear events. Clear story. Clear all of that stuff. Okay? Save your dream balls. Save your dream balls. Save your dream balls. Please. Okay? If not, then hopefully you get lucky. There's some YouTubers out there that do... Uh, spontaneous giveaways on accounts i try to run giveaways on my youtube channel as well however because i'm farming them well, i don't want to just give them to you like bare and raw and with no materials or anything like that at all so it takes me time to farm them it takes time to farm them so keep that in mind like i said at the beginning of the video this is a marathon not a race okay so don't forget Thank you very much for coming by to check out this video. I hope you found all of this information useful. There's still a lot more to cover. We'll get to it, okay? But please, if you did enjoy it, if you think it'll be helpful to other people, don't forget to leave a like. It helps me. If you subscribe, it's free. I want to be able to more be able to bring you more of this type of content. People are telling me that they like my style, so you know, thank you very much for that, and it's very much encourages me to do this type of stuff, and I want to be able to bring this type of stuff for you guys to be able to, you know, help you out, because there is a whole bunch to, to go over. So please subscribe, please subscribe, come back for more. I want to reach a thousand soon. It'll help me a lot if you help me get there. I would appreciate a lot if you help me get there. And you know, I like the encouragement. So please, please, please come back for more. Uh, and as always, or if it's the first time for you, I encourage you, please practice kindness. Let's be respectful, be responsible, be safe. Take care of yourself and each other with much love and peace. Till the next video. Uh, it's always something, y'all. It's always something.